Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing a little bit of a two-in-one video. The April Sephora sale is coming up, and I haven't cleaned out my loves list in quite some time. So I thought it would be fun to go through my entire list, let you guys know what I've had my eye on and what I think I'm going to be picking up for the upcoming sale. I already have a couple of items in my cart, so I'll go over those items as well, and then ultimately I kind of want to sort out just my entire loves list and clean it out because there's a lot of items on here. <laughs> so before we jump in, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, hit the little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. So let's go ahead and start at the bottom of my loves list, which are all of the older items because I have this sorted by recently added. So the first thing I have right here is the Deborah Lipman Cuticle Lab Nail Treatment Set. I just found that it's a lot more cost effective to buy this kit whenever I run out of the products. It comes with a cuticle oil, a, a cuticle pusher nail tool, a cuticle cream, and then a cuticle like remover. This is the best stuff that I found for my nails. I tend to buy this once or twice a year, so I just keep it on my loves list so I, I, I know where it is so I can go ahead and get it. I bought one a few months ago. I still have a decent amount of all the products. Um, so while I'm not going to buy it, I do like keeping it on my loves list just so that I know where it is wherever, whenever I want to rebuy it. The next two items I think I'm going to go ahead and just take off my loves list. For the Smashbox Primer Water, I already have an open one and I have a backup so there's really no need for me to have it on this list anymore. For the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, I really liked the product. I thought it worked really well. It was one of my favorite ways to take off my makeup, but for how much it cost, it was just too much money for how fast I was going through it. I used this up like in less than a month and be spending $30 every month on something that takes off, you know, the majority of your makeup, not even like all of it. I thought that was too much. So even though I've been looking at it on my loves list for a while and I've been thinking about it again, I think it's just too much, so I'm going to take it off. Next we have the Sol de Janeiro Catch the Boom Boom Wave. It's like three mini containers of their lotion. I really want to get this this summer. I do get really dry skin all over my body in the summer, and the hand creams that I like don't really do the best job of helping calm that down. I tried a little sample of this last summer, and I loved it. I love the scent. So I do want to get this at some point, probably not during the sale, most likely in the middle of the summer. Next we have the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I think I'm going to take this off as well. I had a sample of this and I really liked it, but I don't want to pay $26 for what is essentially like a nice lip balm. So I'm going to take that off. Next we have the Sunday Riley Power Couple Duo. I already bought this and I used up both of the samples. I was thinking about buying the kit again instead of buying the full size product, but I already bought the full size of the Luna Sleeping Oil. I don't need this on my love list anymore. I'm going to go ahead and take that off as well. Next we have an item from Briorgio. Briorgio? Briorgio. I think that's right. I, there's another video I have where I cannot figure out how to pronounce that. Um, so this is a scalp revival charcoal and tea tree. They, they have scalp in here twice. Okay, but either way, it's a scalp treatment. I've suffered from not quite dandruff, but like flaking and like really, really dry scalp for a long time. As It's gotten a little bit better as I've been taking better care of my hair and using less heat, but I did see this. I saw the reviews and I do want to try it at some point. Don't think I'm going to pick it up during the sale though, but it is a little pricey for, you know, an ounce of product. But I, it is on my radar. I am going to grab it at some point. Next we have a facial toner from Fresh. This is quite expensive, but you also get a lot of product. It's the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I think this would be an awesome product to try. I've been trying to get a sample of this. The next time I go into the store, I need to just try it because it's a little much for me to spend almost $50 on a toner. So I really want to try it out. I'm keeping it on my loves list because I do like to keep an eye on it and just remind myself, try to get a sample. Next is a Pretty Vulgar Lipstick. I really don't need this. I liked the formula of the one lipstick that I got in BoxyCharm, but I haven't really reached for it a lot. And I'm not really interested enough to spend 24 on a nude lipstick, so let me just go ahead and take that off. Next we have in the Tasha Denona palette. This is the Purple Blue palette. I do have this 
green brown palette and I do love that palette I really don't need this so I need to just take it off my love list. I don't need it <laughs> next we have the Dior skin forever perfect foundation I did get a sample of this and I liked it but it wasn't like the right shade for me so before I actually get this I am gonna go into the store maybe Sephora maybe another one and just try out the shades and see which one will be best for me so it's gonna stay on here to remind me to get another sample but I'm not gonna jump in and spend $52 until I know like this is the right color because I think like looking online 21 linen looks like the closest color for me the next three I'm gonna go ahead and just take off it's I have a Sephora collection Z palette I actually have three empty Z palettes right now because I reorganized all of them so I don't need that next we have a pretty vulgar nail color I don't paint my nails anymore I tend to use like press-ons or just clear polish so I don't need that I'm gonna take that off next is a kit that I've already bought but I kept on here to remind myself of like the shades because I might buy a full size of the gloss because I really liked the gloss this is the Marc Jacobs Beauty Cream and Sugar Nude Nude Lip Trio set I think it's a great value you get a good amount of product in each one of these samples you get a lip liner you get a lipstick and you get a lip gloss and they're all the same color they all match it's my favorite nude combination of all time I really do enjoy it so this might be the first full size like Marc Jacobs lip product that I'll buy. But since I've already bought this kit and I still have the products, there's no need for me to keep it on here, so I'll just take it off. Look at all the Natasha Denona. I don't need any of these, really. I don't. I also don't need the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner because I already have a brush cleaner. I just kept this on here because I saw a lot of videos where people were talking about it and how it was their favorite brush cleaner. But I do have a giant bottle of brush cleaner. I, I'm not looking to buy anything anytime soon, so I should just take it off. S I mean, similar to the Natasha Denona, I really don't need any of these palettes. I think I just went into a Sephora one day and was looking at all the mini ones, and I was like, these are so pretty, they're gorgeous. But I have two of these already, and I don't use them as much as I should, so I shouldn't buy any more. So <laughs> let's get rid of those. Next, I have the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. I've been using this. I'm almost done with the first bottle that I bought, and it's done wonders to my hair. I really enjoy it. I wish they sold it in a bigger bottle, if I'm being honest. 3.3 ounces. That's enough for me to get two full head applications, and then two applications on just my ends. So like two full applications and then two half applications out of it so I wish they sold a bigger bottle it is $28 I thought that was a lot but seeing what it's done to my hair I would gladly spend that again okay next I have quite a few Marc Jacobs products really I don't need any of these I'm gonna keep this kit on here because it does include the Velvet Noir mascara which I still can't bring myself to buy the full size of that but this one comes with an eye crayon in blacker and an earthquake so I do want to try out those other eye crayons and since you know this kit comes with the blacker I don't need to keep that on my list just get one or the other and then I went through and did a bunch of like lip liners I really don't need this one's even out of stock so I don't need that one um and this one's in rosy nude really I'll just keep the invisible one on there because if you get a good invisible liner that could do wonders so I'll keep my eye on this one maybe try it in the store see how it feels and if I do like it I'll probably pick that one up we have a Violet Voss eyeshadow palette I don't know why I put this on here honestly like I have a couple of rainbow palettes I have a pastel palette now I really don't need this and it's out of stock so just bye bye Next, I have some Velour Lashes. I think I'm just going to go with these ones, keep these ones. I'm not sure why they go on sale, but if they're on sale and if I can use the 15% off with the sale on top of this, I'll probably be buying these. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in my basket to remind myself. And then I'm going to remove these because I really only need one. Next we have a Kat Von D Shade and Light Face Contour Palette Refill. I already purchased this. This is the light pinkish nude shade in the palette. What I did is I bought this refill. I popped out the orange shade that I really don't use and I put this one in there. So that was a really good choice for me because I can use the yellow and I can use this shade but I really couldn't use the orange one. So since I already bought it and I'm nowhere near using up both the pans, I can go ahead and remove that from the list. Next we have two of the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush trios. 
I really wanted to try one of these, but I didn't know what shade I wanted to go with. I think I'm going to go with Peachy Love, because I already have a pink blush from Anastasia, so I'll take that one off. And I'll probably see if I can pick this one up during the sale, because it's 30 bucks, you can get 15% off, and I've been wanting to try this for a while, it's been on this list. Next is the Viseart eyeshadow palette. I just really like the colors in here, but I wasn't 100% impressed with my other Viseart like palettes like this. Like I like their Theory palettes, the smaller ones, but these ones I'm not really, I don't know, enjoying. And for 80 bucks, like if I don't love it, why am I gonna get more of it? Bye bye. Next, I have something that I've been dying to get my hands on forever. The Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. I've heard this does really good things for acne scarring and for hyperpigmentation. And it's been sold out everywhere. On the Ordinary website, on the Hush app, on Sephora. I just really want to get my hands on this and try it out. It's only $9.80. It's been out of stock for like forever. But the minute this comes back, if I can get my hands on it, I want to get two bottles and just try it out. The next three I think I'm just going to take off. First we have the Complexinista Face Palette from Benefit. I thought this was a good idea until I really looked into like the product. Let's open it up. So you get the Hoola, the Hoola Light, you get two of the highlighters, and you get two of the concealers. Now, I really like the highlighters Benefit has, and I really like the number two Boing concealer, but I tried the Hoola and I hated it. Hated the Hoola bronzer, so it really makes no sense for me to get this if I'm really only going to use it for like the highlighter and for the concealer, and I already have the concealer, like separately. Um, I also don't like that you've got like cream right next to powder. I think they should have done like a little flap to keep them separated. So overall, I don't think this is a product for me, so I can just go ahead and take it off. Next, I actually already bought the Sugar Glow Kit, so I don't need to keep it on here. Now we have a kit from Way, the All The Way Up kit. I love the foaming dry shampoo that they have, and I actually already bought a full size of that dry shampoo. So I added this to my kit, or I added this to my loves before I bought that full size, but now that I have the full size, I really don't need the kit anymore, so we can just take that off. We're doing really good, but also, do you see how much junk I just throw onto my loves list? <laughs> okay, next we have the Sephora Collection Pro Pigment Palette Metallic, and I thought this looked really pretty, but I really don't need more metallic eyeshadow, especially when I have so many, like, liquid glitters and, you know, overall, I don't, I don't need it. Let's just take it off. Next are two lip glosses I really want to try out. I'm going to buy one during the sale. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up Fuel, which is the light neutral nude. So I'm going to add that to my basket, just so I remember. And then I do want to pick up Dirty Talk at one point. I haven't seen these in stores yet. I really want to like swatch the rest of them other than the nude, just to see like actually how pigmented they are and how they look on my skin tone. Next is the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. I saw the Taylor do a review on this and it looked amazing on her skin. And it's got a decent shade range. I found a shade that looks nice, or it looks like it could be nice for me. Light with warm peachy undertones. It's a little expensive though. I'm pretty sure this isn't available in store, but I do want to try this foundation out. It's already in my basket. I'm thinking of buying it during the sale, but it, I'm still on the fence about it. Next, I have a mini of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Collection. I've heard so many good things about their blushes, and this is the mini, so it's only $24. Well, only $24. But I have yet to go through an Hourglass Mini. Like, you get a good amount of product in there. So since it's, like, already a mini and pretty affordable, I don't need it right away. I'm not going to pick it up during the sale, but I am going to keep it on my list so I can keep an eye on it and remind myself to try it at some point. Next, I have two products from Guerlain. So the first one is the Meteorite's Heart Shape Powder Blush, and this looks beautiful. I'm not going to buy it right now because look at that. I think I'm going to save these two Guerlain products for the sale in the fall because you get the 20% off. So I do want to try out Guerlain. I've never tried anything from Guerlain at this point. Um, so I have these on my loves list just because these are the two products that I really want to try. And I'm going to hold off until the fall sale. Next, I have two of the Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipsticks from Rihanna. I already have one full size and one sample size of these, so I don't really need another one. The sample size I have is actually Griselda. I got that as a point perk. 
at Sephora, so I can just take that one off right there. And then a dusty rose, I have plenty of, you know, comparable shades in my lip collection that I need to use more, so I don't need to grab that one as well. I have two shades of the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick on here. I've heard really mixed reviews on this. I've heard some people love it, I've heard some people hate it. I think it would be nice to have as like a really quick foundation, but I need to find my skin, like the closest shade to my skin tone, and I'm having a really tough time of doing that online. And recently, whenever I go into Sephora, I, I don't know, the Sephora near me, the like hourglass display is right next to the beauty bar like where they do like the makeovers and stuff and so there's always so many people there that I really can't get through to the hourglass section and then when I can there's really no one around to help me like match and I do want to get a couple of opinions on this eventually I'll figure it out but I don't know like which one of these two because these look the closest to me online but you never really know I do want to find my shade and try that out but I don't think I'm going to figure that out before the sale begins. I'm filming this on Saturday and the sale begins on Friday, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get my tone or my shade right by then. The La Mer powder is really just a wish list item. I don't know if I'll ever actually buy this. It's so expensive. It's so luxurious. I just like to look at it and just dream. <laughs> like, oof, could you imagine? Also, look at the powder brush, $80. Anyway, so that's just on here as a dream. Next, I have some Kat Von D concealers. I already bought a white concealer from ColourPop, so I don't need to get another one. I'm gonna take that one off. But I did swatch a bunch of the Locket concealer cremes in the store, and I found that Light 7 is my best shade. So now that I know what shade I am, I'm gonna buy Light 7. I don't know if I'll buy it during the sale, but I am keeping my eye on it. This might be another one, since I already have a bunch of concealers. I might wait until the fall sale for this one as well. I have the Pretty Vulgar Shimmering Swan Highlighter on here. It's pretty expensive for a highlighter, but really this was the only part of the pretty vulgar line I was interested in when it came out, but really, uh, like, I think I'm past it, honestly. I got one of their blushes in BoxyCharm, and it's a nice blush, it's a nice shade and everything, but the packaging is so cheap and flimsy, and I don't know if, like, the product itself would be worth it, so I'm glad I got a product in BoxyCharm to try out, but I don't know if I would use $32 for a full size, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. We now have a couple of like luxurious products. We have the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. I got a deluxe size sample of this and I was actually really upset that I liked it. <laughs> so at some point, again, this might be a fall sale item that I want to get. I did love the primer though and it worked really well on my skin. This one I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. I don't need the Radiance Perfecting Pen. I think I was looking at the primer and I was like, ooh, let me try the like concealer. No, you don't need it. <laughs> Not for $38. A foundation that I really want to try is from Giorgio Armani. I have not tried anything from Armani. Um, and I also have no idea like what my shade would be, especially for this much money. Um, so again, I do want to go into a Sephora and try to figure out what my shade would be. Um, the closest I can find online is 4.5, but that seems a bit like dark or like high up for my skin tone. But again, I think I'll be holding off on this one until the fall 20% off sale. I have two Becca Light Chaser highlighters and these are actually already in my cart. They're $17 on sale now. I don't know if they're like discontinuing them or if they're getting rid of them, but I do love the two that I picked up from this line. I really want to get Pearl Flashes Gold because that looks stunning. And then Topaz Flashes Guilt, like it has an emerald shift. Like I'm, I'm for the emerald, I'm here for the emerald. <laughs> so these are already in my basket for the sale because I'm pretty sure it'll be a 15% off the actual already discounted price, so. Again, another foundation that I can't figure out my shade of, but the thing is this time I went into the store to figure it out and they were totally sold out of every shade, so I couldn't even sample the shades. <laughs> So this is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. It's supposed to be super full coverage, super, super everything. Um, but online, the closest shades that I think I might be are Shortbread 200 or Chai 210. But honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> it's really hard trying to find foundation shades. So if I can figure out which one might be the best, I'm gonna try to get a sample of this. 
Next, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, and this is in the shade Granite. I do have the Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown, but I find myself really wanting a darker brow. Like I used a like I used a cream eyeliner and used that in my brows, and it was just plain black, and I really liked how they turned out. So I do want to pick this up, maybe during the sale. You know, I'll go ahead and throw it in my basket just to see how much it would be. And I'll think about it once the sale actually gets here, but I do want to try darker brows because I find that I really like the way that they look. Okay, another Marc Jacobs. This is a mini kit with four of the mini lip glosses. I really want these. I know it's going to be a repeat because there's another mini of Sugar Sugar in here, which I already have, but I think that it's still a great deal because you get to try out the other ones. Love Buzz, Some Girls, and Make Me. Really want to try this out, so I'm going to keep it on my list. We have the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I really want to look at this in stores first, so it's going to sit on my loves list until I can take a look at it in the store, and I really want to swatch everything. I haven't seen it anywhere yet. So until I swatch this, it's going to live on the list until I can make a decision on it. Next, I have one of my all-time favorite foundations, the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation in the shade Warm Nude. I think I loved this because I wasn't sure if this is actually getting discontinued or not. I heard a rumor that they were going to get rid of this line of foundation and I like panicked and I was like, oh my god, I love it, I need to like stock up. But I haven't seen it like go on sale or get phased out anywhere and I haven't seen anything to suggest that it is actually like getting discontinued. So I'm going to keep it on my loves list so I can keep an eye on it. And if I do hear anything about it getting discontinued, I'm probably going to buy like two of them. We have the full size of the Sunday Riley Saturn Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask. This I tried a deluxe size sample in a kit and I loved it. The deluxe size sample was less than an ounce and it lasts me a good long time. I use it as an overnight treatment and it like I put it on a spot at night and I wake up and it's almost completely gone. It's a lifesaver. I'm still not out of my deluxe size sample, but I know that as soon as I run out, I will buy this full size. Another concealer that I do love is the Boeing Erase Paste Concealer. I still have a good deluxe size sample left, um, but I think it's nice that they put together like a whole kit that comes with a couple of concealers and a little bag, and it's only $26. So I will pick this up once I do run out of the concealer that I have right now, but since I still have a decent amount left, it's just going to live on my loves list. And last but not least, I have two of the Too Faced Milton Matte Liquefied Longwear Matte Lipsticks on here. I really want to go for the Emerald. The Emerald. So I'm going to add that to my basket for the sale. And then I do want to try out a nude shade from them. I probably won't buy it during the sale, but at some point in the future I will pick this one up. Okay, so looking through my basket real quick, let's just take a look at what I'm going to get. I think I'm going to hold off on the Ilia until I can figure out what my shade is actually going to be. So I have two of the Becca Light Chaser highlighters, a set of Velour Lashes, the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss, the ABH Dip Brow in Granite, and then the Too Faced Melton Matte Liquefied Longwear Matte Lipstick. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my loves list and looking through what I'm going to be picking up during this next sale. Are you guys going to be getting anything during the Sephora sale? Let me know down below. I would love to hear what you guys are going to pick up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave today and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!